Hello, and welcome to this presentation on domain sharding, a part of the front-end optimization series. Domain sharding is a technique that enables web browsers to download more in parallel from your site. It's a widely used optimization that can significantly improve performance for many visitors. Your web pages likely include many resources, image files, style sheet files, JavaScript files. Visitors to your site will load not only your page, but the set of all resources it includes. The fastest way to download a set of many files is to request many files at the same time, rather than waiting for the first download to complete before requesting the next. However, web browsers impose a limit on the number of simultaneous downloads allowed from a domain. These limits were recommended back in 1999 as part of the HTTP 1.1 RFC as a way to avoid overloading a web server and a way to reduce internet congestion. Today, the newest browsers are relaxing connection limits, but some limit is still applied in all browsers, and many users of your site may still be using older browsers where the limits are very restrictive. For some of your site visitors, this limit could be as low as two connections per domain. In this example, we have a web page that includes eight images all hosted on the same domain. Each of these files can be downloaded by the browser in about half a second. However, in this case, the browser is only downloading two images at a time because of the two connection per domain limit. The end result is that it takes a total of two seconds to load all eight images. If instead you distributed the files across multiple domains, your site visitors would be able to download more resources concurrently since the browser places limits on parallel downloads on a per domain basis. More domains means more downloads in parallel and typically a faster load of the page. Domain sharding is the practice of distributing images, style sheets, and scripts across multiple domains so that the browser can avoid connection limits and download more in parallel. Domain sharding is usually achieved without adding additional servers. The browser connection limit is associated with a domain name, not an IP address. So to get additional domains, you can simply create multiple domain name aliases that all point to the server where your files are hosted. A couple things to be aware of when implementing domain sharding. Firstly, expect diminishing returns when adding additional domains, because a DNS lookup will need to be done for every domain you use. Once your resources are distributed across a few domains, you'll find that there is no longer contention for domain connections, and you won't get any additional performance out of additional domains. Too many domains can make your performance worse, as you'll still pay the cost of a DNS lookup for every domain you add. A few studies suggest that about four domains is the sweet spot for many web pages. A second thing, when implementing domain sharding, you will often have a number of domain aliases all pointing to the same resource. So which domain will your pages use to, when they refer to that resource? It probably doesn't matter which domain you choose as long as you're consistent. It's important that a specific resource is always loaded from the same domain by all pages on your site that use that resource. If not, you'll break browser caching and could end up making your performance worse, not better. This is where an automated solution can help. By automating the assignment of a resource to a domain and automatically updating all pages to reference the resource in that location, you can ensure that resources are not duplicated and are not loaded from multiple locations. This is essential to getting the benefits of domain sharding without losing any of the benefits of caching. So to summarize, domain sharding is an important technique for improving the performance of your website. By splitting page resources across domains, the impact of browser connection limits will be reduced. More resources will download concurrently and the overall page load will be faster. That's it for the domain sharding technique. Be sure to check out the other techniques in the front end optimization series on the Blaze website at www.blaze.io. Thanks for listening.